The Philippines is home to all sorts of bizarre mammals, but none make quite the same spectacle as the ones that cloud the sky every morning. Thousands of the largest bats on Earth. These are giant golden-crowned flying foxes, a species that only lives in the Philippines, and every single one of them has a wingspan over five feet across, many even reaching five and a half. This is likely the world's largest colony of them, every single one sporting a beach blonde mohawk that gives the species its name. All of these bats are returning from a night of devouring figs and are swarming to this patch of forest for one reason, a single tree. Its barren branches provide perfect footholds for them and have been attracting the flying foxes here every day for generations. The branches buckle under the weight of hundreds of pounds of bat. Every inch of available space will be claimed by these sleepy mammals within the next hour. The golden crowns aren't the only ones staying here. They're sharing this tree with the third largest bat species on Earth, the darkly colored large flying fox. Quite the name coming from a guy in third place. But these bats have another name, Vampyrus. No, they don't suck blood. So that is two for two on misleading names. But like the monsters they're named after, they're heavy sleepers and are already out by the time the golden crowns arrive. Although they don't have to brush their teeth or mindlessly scroll through Instagram to fall asleep, the flying foxes still have a few things to take care of before they turn in for the night. Balancing with one leg, they use their stripper level flexibility to scratch all across their body removing parasites and debris from their fur. Next, it's time to give themselves a bath, using their tongue to savor the delicious taste of all the sweat and dust that is accumulated on them throughout the night. This includes licking their wing membranes, the disturbing image of which looks exactly like that shot from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, I know what you're all wondering, how do these things go to the bathroom when they're upside down all the time? Well, luckily the answer is more hilarious than I ever expected. Yep, right onto that guy's face, real classy. While most of the bats are getting to bed at a respectable hour, a few party animals are arriving a little later than is socially acceptable, leading to some violent conflicts between neighbors. As the new arrivals try to find an unoccupied spot, they often step on the toes of their disgruntled branch buddies. The newcomer is met with a flurry of vicious bites, usually aimed to the back of the neck or even the wings. And just as quickly as it started, they squash their beef and everyone pretends like nothing happened. Nipping is a pretty effective way to get a statement across, but these bats have another weapon they use to duke it out. They use their sharp thumbs like prison shanks and try to stab them into the wings or bellies of their opponents. And by drunkenly crashing into this tree, this bat declares a thumb war. To avoid serious injury, the newcomer backs off to a lower branch, using its powerful thumbs to crawl to safety. Also, I just love the total cheap shot this guy goes for at the end. Like, it's so petty, it's so great. As the rest of the degenerates arrive, it's time for everyone to get some sleep. After one last long stretch, they wrap themselves tighter than a Chipotle burrito and sleep away the day like upside down flamingos, only holding on with one leg as they hang off the tree like its own strange leather fruits. Even though this sky filled with five and a half foot bats seems like an amazing spectacle, their colonies used to be made up of over 120,000. Today, the entire world population of golden crowns is likely only 10,000, half of what it was only 30 years ago. Because of hunting for bushmeat and deforestation, they're now an endangered species. People will also walk up to these nursery trees and clap to see the bats fly, 
forcing the bats to wake up and take off, which oftentimes forces them to abandon their young in the process. Now when I learned that, I got pretty sad, and you might be feeling the same way. So that's why I contacted Bat Conservation International to see what groups were working to conserve this species, and was happy to learn that the organization Phil Bio has been doing just that. They've been working tirelessly to conduct population surveys, spread conservation awareness, and even helped put on a national flying fox conservation forum to put together a plan to protect the golden crowns and the other endangered giant bats of Southeast Asia. These bats are honestly some of the coolest creatures I've ever had the pleasure of filming. And by cutting down on some bad practices, we can ensure that people for generations will have a chance to visit the Philippines and see the biggest bats that have ever lived. If you want to support bat conservation for species like this, be sure to check out Bat Conservation International and Phil Bio to see what you can do to support the scientists working to save our flying furry friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Same bat time, same bat channel.